Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. I've got a really fun and easy beginner's project for you and that's how to make this mini tote bag. I'll show you two different ways to finish it off. You can have it with a box shaped bottom or not. So let's get started. I'm using two fat quarters to make this mini tote bag. One fat quarter is for the outside of the bag and the other is for the lining. If you want to just use one fat quarter, that one fat quarter can be used for both the lining and the outside fabric and I'll explain in a moment how that works. So I'm going to use two. I'm placing them on top of each other. Normally your fat quarters are anywhere from 18 inches wide to 22 inches long. They're not always cut exactly the same. So clean up all of your edges. Make sure they're all straight first. And mine were pretty close. So I'm cutting mine down the middle at nine inches. Some of you, if you have to cut more of your fat quarter off because it's not very even, it might be anywhere from eight and a half inches to eight and three quarter inches wide for each piece. So as I said, Mine are roughly nine inches, and I'm just going to cut them right down the middle. If you want to just use one fat quarter, you can take one piece and use it as the lining, and then the other piece, of course, would be for the outside. These are the two pieces that I'm not going to use, but here are some of your options. If you don't want to buy another fat quarter or if you don't have scraps for the straps, you can take one of the fabrics and cut out your two strips for the straps. So you would cut them two and a half inches wide. So you'd place your ruler on the long edge, move over two and a half inches and cut, Move it over again two and a half inches and cut. Now take those two strips and you're going to fold it in half like this and press it all the way down. Then unfold it and bring the two outer raw edges into that center fold line and press again. Then fold in half and press one more time. Then you would stitch close to the edge on this side and then on this edge here. So when you're done, you're going to have two straps that look like this. I'm using heavy iron-on interfacing. So you'll need a piece that's the same size as your fabric for the outside. I'm using Pellon Craft Fuse number 808, but any heavy iron-on interfacing is fine. So go ahead, follow package instructions, and fuse it on the back side of your fabric for the outside. Now your straps. I decided to cut my straps down to 16 inches long, because I realized the other straps were going to be way too long. So I've shortened them up. Go over two inches from this edge here and pin your strap on and then the same thing on this side two edges over and pin the strap on then take your lining fabric place it on top and place pins across then stitch a half inch seam all the way across here and then at the other end. And remember, you're placing your straps at opposite ends, then stitching everything down. Now move your seams to the center. And what you want to do is at your ironing board, you're going to press both seams open. Match your seams together. So you want to get those seams right up against each other. And press, I mean, excuse me, pin the seams open. Then go ahead and place pins on both sides of the bag. Leave an opening large enough for your hand to go through and you're going to stitch a one quarter inch seam. Make sure you back stitch on each side of your opening. 
reach in your opening and begin turning it front side out. So you want to bring the pretty side to the front. At the opening on the lining, you want to turn the edges inside a quarter of an inch and place pins to hold. Then stitch close to the edge along there to close it up. Now push the lining on the inside of the bag and push it all the way to the bottom, pushing out the corners on both the lining and the fabric for the outside of the bag. Make sure the seam that holds the lining and the outside fabric together is right up there at the top. Then place pins around it to hold. Stitch 1 8 of an inch from the top edge in all the way around. Then after that, do a second row of stitching one quarter inch away from that first row of stitching. So you'll have two rows of stitching around the top edge. So when you're done with your stitching, this is what it should look like. Now if you're worried about the straps not being very secure, you could back stitch over these straps just to secure them a little more. You can leave the bag just like this if you like, but if you're interested in making it a box shape at the bottom, I'll show you how to do that next. To turn it into a box shape bottom, turn the entire bag to where the lining is out. So you've got your fabric for the outside is now inside. And this is the lining. You're gonna, this is the bottom of the bag. So you're going to take the center bottom. And if you want to press it so you can see where the center bottom is, you can do that. Then take that pressed line, that folded line, and bring it even with the side seam. So you're squishing it down. And you're going to do that on both sides. Then place a couple of pins here to hold it in place. Take a ruler and you can either put the one and a half inch line or the two inch line on your ruler down here on the point. And it just depends on how big of a box bottom you want. And you can either use a pencil, chalk, or fabric marker and draw a line right along here. Now this is kind of a, a dark fabric so I can't really see my line, but I've placed my pin so I know exactly where that two inch line is. Then go ahead and stitch right across there. I'm going to give you a couple of options on how to finish this off. You can either leave this pointy piece right here on the inside of your bag because no one will see it, but if you don't want it there, then go ahead and measure from your seam, your stitch line, out a half an inch and trim the excess off. Then you could do a zigzag stitch over the raw edge. So when you're done, go ahead and bring the front side fabric out so that the bag looks like this. This turned out really cute and it's really got a lot of space in it. Now if you want to put pockets on the inside and even outside of this, I have a video on how you can put pockets on a tote bag which would give you more storage space. Now this would also make a great gift for someone. You could make some other little accessories or maybe even put things in it like a small comb and brush, a little tube of lip gloss, or you can make this little personal tissue holder for them and put it inside. I have a variety of different coin purses. This one will hold credit cards, gift cards, and money, all in that. Here's a really easy one with just a zipper on it. Here's one with a zipper that's round. You can put a wristlet on it or keychain. Here's a little snap bag. And then here's this other one again. And you can even put a little novelty piece on it. So you have all kinds of options for this little bag. I think it's so cute. And there's a lot of people out there I know who would really love getting this as a gift. 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you try making this little bag. There's really a lot of things that you can do with this. Now make sure you look below your YouTube screen for all those video links I was talking about and other beginners projects. Make sure you also follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click on the thumbs up button. Don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Don't forget to click on the bell. I'm Cheryl and this is a lot of manis. See you next time and happy sewing.